welcome back to your 2022 Miss Cagayandi Oro finale. And people, this is the moment we have all been waiting for. This is it, the final verdict. Yes, after all the hard work, the build up, we are finally here. This moment, we are going to be revealing who the winners are. Okay, but let's, uh, let's start first with you know the feelings of our audience here, because I feel like they're as nervous as our candidates, right? So you've been here before, so I'm sure like your fans who were in attendance, they were also feeling like the same way, uh, the same way uh, as what you were feeling when you were on stage, right? Exactly, Martin. The pressure is always there, but of course. With the support of the people around you, your core team, it really means so much. So that's why we really thank the families of the girls who have been consistently supporting each and every one of them. And speaking of thanking people and uh, people who have been supporting the candidates, their families, and everybody, Martin, you'd like to thank. Yes, I would like to thank GMA Regional TV and GMA for bringing me over and letting me experience this amazing night. So thank you so much. They're also one of the media partners, if I'm not mistaken, for Miss Cagayan de Oro 2022. So thank you so much, GMA, GMA Regional TV. Salamat. And what about you? Yes, yes. Yes. I would also like to express my sincerest gratitude to my glam team. All the lots you found for my wardrobe and styling, I go for my hair and makeup, and of course, Mr. Jojo for guys for my shoes tonight, and yes, and Katao for my earrings. Maraming salamat. Thank you. This is how we feel the gap, by the way. Alright. As we, and we, you know, of course, we build up the tension. But who do you think will bring home the top two crowns tonight? And this is, you know, young faces already because you've seen the, the performances of these candidates and round after round, so you now have an informed opinion, right? So who do you think will win the top two crowns? All right, we will not keep you waiting any longer because I believe we have the results here on stage. Let's begin with fourth runner up. Presenting the award for fourth runner up, we have our talent manager, Ms. Therese Ramos, together with the pageant media and mentor, Mr. Norman Dino. And the fourth runner-up is...
candidate, number 11, third runner-up. Next, second runner-up. Presenting the award for second runner-up, we have Miss Global 2022, Shane Forrest, together with our District 1 City Councilor, Honorable Jay Roa Pasqua. Our official tabulator for tonight. 
Salamat tayo sa inyong tanan. And of course, we'd like to remind Kagayanos to still be very careful during the city fiesta, the festivities, the activities, uh, and celebrating, of course, uh, of uh, Senor San Agustin's right. festival. Happy fiesta. Happy uh, yes. Yes. Keep safe, no? Wear your mask every single day. All right. Right. And we are just waiting for something very important. We cannot make any mistakes. Yes, yes exactly. It's difficult. And also, we encourage everyone that once they post on social media, please right. include our official hashtag. It's hashtag Higalaai Festival. And also, you might want to include hashtag MissCDO2020. That's right. We are in the process of, you know, just making sure Oh, yes. Of the right scores, we don't want that Steve Harvey moment. No, no, no. No. So, but we are down to the last two ladies, and I cannot. Cindy knows, of course. She's been there and she's won it. Oh, right, Cindy, can you share with us when it was down to two girls left? Yeah. What was going through your mind? Oh my God, that was like very nerve-wrenching moment, and. I was just waiting for the Philippines to be called, honestly, and all I can say is that I was very, very uh, happy already to be part of that prestigious competition, Miss Intercontinental. So whatever happens, I know that I, I did my best during that time. That's right. You know, she's done it, she's, she's experienced that locally and internationally as well. Yes, I know. Oh, what, yeah, yeah. For all of the girls, so whatever happens, especially for the two of them, they really did their best. And so, maybe I would like to take this opportunity also to give a shout out to the makeup artists, to the designers, to the stylists, and the mentors. They did so well also, brought the girls and helped the girls, supported all of them, all the way until the coronation night tonight. Yeah, let's give them a big hand. Right, the makeup artists, stylists, designers who were in the competition from the very beginning. Again, this is a lengthy period of just, you know, showing yourself out there and then you get to the final set of candidates, you experience the final sign, and then that's quite a process oh, to go yeah. through. Yes, and we're hoping that tonight one of the ladies will follow Cindy's footsteps, no? Bringing home an international crown. Yes, Miss Nicole, I can't wait for her Cinderella story to unfold. I know. I will be with her every step of the way. <laughs> oh, okay. So maybe at this point, because you have so many supporters, Cindy, uh, I'd like to ask you, what is your next plan? What's the next step for a Cindy Oberita? Yeah. People ask me that, Miss Nicole, but really I would just want to focus more on my career, a hosting jobs, baka naman, meron dyan no, mga gustong magpa-host. Me and Miss Nicole, we're very much available, Martin as well, so please book us. <laughs> wow. And also, uh, Miss Nicole, yeah, I would really want to focus more on the charity work even if I no longer have that crown on my head. That's beautiful. We are also here to support you. And so... Huh? Alright, um... So, before we announce our top two crowns, we'll go to a quick break. First, a quick cap. And when we return, we promise to have your songs with us. So stay tuned. This is your Miss Cagayante Oro 2022. Fastilan! Number 5 or number 8?
Welcome back, you guys. We're still watching Miss Cagayanda Oro 2022 finale. And for those of you who just tuned in online, of course, we are down to the last two crowns. So our top two winners this evening. And finally, yes. we have the results in. Today. Yes, Martin, and before that, Miss Cagayanda Oro is really full of surprises, and that makes it really unique <laughs> because Tito Rochila Origin here of Mutiana Filipinas is here and our Mutiana Filipinas Org has decided that our first runner-up would be our official representative to the Mutiana Filipinas Pageant. Congratulations! Kagayati Oro, we have our representative to the Mutiana Filipinas Pageant. Congratulations, Canada number one! Canada number one, congratulations! What a twist to our evening here! And after that big announcement, we are finally ready. First, we will announce Miss Cagayan de Oro 2022, Filipinas! Presenting the award for Miss Cagayan de Oro 2022, Filipinas are City Vice Mayor Honorable Jocelyn Rodriguez and Chairwoman of Miss Cagayan de Oro 2022, Ms. Max Coy.
Ciudad de Oro, Filipinas. 2022 candidate number eight. Congratulations, and that leaves us with one more lady right there on that spot. Our Miss Cagayan de Oro 2022 universe. But before we announce that, Sandy? Yes, to present your award for Miss Cagayan de Oro universe, may we invite here on stage our dearest city mayor, Honorable Clarence Uy, together with co chair of Miss Cagayan de Oro organization. Cap Gigi Go and our Queen Maker, Mr. Rogio Flores, together of course with Ms. Kagan the Or 2020 second runner up, Ms. Tanya Salva Shaw. And ladies and gentlemen, please welcome your Miss Kagan the Or 2022 Universe candidate number five!